All right, back at y'all with some more boxing news and updates. You already know this your boy, love one and hate one. Let's go ahead and talk about this shit. Now, for all the people out there that don't know, George Kambosis has weighed in and gave his thoughts on the Tank versus Ryan Garcia fight going down in April. I'm going to read some words from George Kambosis himself. Then I'm going to come back and talk my shit. As y'all can see, George can boast to say, Davis, 28, can allow Ryan Garcia, 23 and 0, 90 KO, to build up a huge early lead on him as other fighters have because he's got the height and reach to go into crew control in the second half of the fight to prevent Tank's attempt to score a fight-saving knockout. George can also says, that's a great fight. Ryan is a big lightweight, so I think Tank is going to have trouble with the reach and the speed from Ryan Garcia. Now, I know a lot of people out there would disagree with George Cambosis. As you guys can see, he's clearly picking Ryan Garcia to win this fight. But he's letting Tank know some real shit to start early. You guys can say whatever you want. Oh, Tank be just giving away rounds to fighters like Roley. Oh, he was just setting him up. What if the knockout don't come? If the knockout didn't come against Roley, Tank arguably could have lost that fight. A lot of people think that Roley was winning damn near every round, if not every round of that fight. And then we don't want to talk about the Lil Santa Cruz fight and the Mario Barrios fight, right? It's like Tank Power do bail him out. And Tank do got some real power. But I feel what George Kambosis is feeling. In the fight against Ryan Garcia, he has to come out and get that train rolling early. Against a big, tall cat like Ryan Garcia, a lot of the shit you got away with in the past is not going to work. That's my thoughts on his thoughts. I am.